Breaking the Wall of TVET and Climate Change and Sustainable Energy, Amelia Singer, Pacific Community, SPC, Fiji. Honourable Jury, ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to the European Union Pacific Technical Education Vocational and Training Project. This is, project is funded by the European Union and co-funded by GIZ, German Aid. With a budget of 6.3 million euros for 71 months, it's located in 15 PACP countries and the implementing partners is none other than the SPC and the reputable University of the South Pacific. Now, this project builds on the recognition that the major, major issues hindering development in terms of social, economic and environmental are the energy security and climate change. This is for the 15 PACP countries, as you can see there. Now, to date, there's about 7 million people out of the 10 million people in the region that do not have access to electricity. And you would agree with me that this is one of the regions that's most vulnerable to climate change. They get the full adverse effects of climate change, so they do very little to contribute to the cost, producing just about 0.03% of global greenhouse gas emissions. With that said, the main barrier that has been identified to improving the energy security and resilience uh, to climate change impacts have been the lack of regional and lo local capacities and expertise. So that's due to the absence of well-trained staff, it's due to the absence of sustainable training programs, and it's due to the absence of well-equipped and well-resourced training institutions to support this program. So what does the PACTIVAT project bring in? It has established a few global firsts. It has developed the first ever regional qualifications in resilience and sustainable energy on levels one to four in the Pacific Qualification Framework. It has used as the Industry Standards Advisory Committee, the PRFRP, which is the Resilience Professional Network, and CEAPI, which is the Sustainable Energy Network for the Pacific, as the Industry Standards Advisory Committee. It has also established a new TVET subject area, which is resilience, where it combines climate change adaptation and disaster risk reduction. This it has regionally accredited as well under ECAP, and it's listed on the Pacific Register of Qualification and Standards. Now, it's now supporting the delivery of the qualifications in the different institutions. You can see, sorry, you can see here the first ever graduates from the Certificate One in Vanuatu that was delivered by Vanuatu Institute of Technology. Here you have the training of trainers from Palau and in FSM. And we also have Fiji working with the Ministry of Youth to deliver parts of the qualification rather than the full qualification. So we're also working with Kiribati on integrating elements of the qualifications into the existing curriculum. So there you are, ladies and gentlemen, the PACTIVAD project working with the 15 ACP countries on enhancing their capacity to combat or to respond to climate change and sustainable energy. Thank you. <laughs>